Dingo. Go 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 Right. That's enough of you. That's enough of you. Back in your corner, you little bitch. There's your ball as well. All tips that go on the ball, they all go to me. He gets none of them, for he is a little bitch who write to me. He a write to me, the cheek. He is a devil, a rickle, brown devil who write to me. Today's painting go shall be slightly differing, different, different, different to, different to. Um, I was sitting here before the stream, staring at the painting go, and I'm like, it's pretty good how it is, Do you know. All three things that came out of the hat are in the painting. There is a castle, there is some smoke, and there is a waterfall. There is also a otter, a crow, some ladybugs, and some flowers. So, I think I will just sign this bitch. And today, on the day of Fry, we shall begin a new painting goo. So, I usually announce before stream that a new painting goo shall be born this day. But, surprise birth. A surprise birth of a new painting goo. And a signage of a four more painting goo. Who is in the chatting goo? Demon Hunter Beru. Ah, forced to. It's usually Griffu, but now it's you. First, Damon Hunterberry, welcome to painting goo. Brick Fingeroo, the first Afrikanu, welcome to painting goo. Goy Dagminir, I have no idea what that means. I am intrigued. Damon Hunterberry, explain yourself. Goy Dagminir. What in the good fuck? That sounds like an insult from a Viking. Sapphire Elfu, welcome to painting goo. You have returned, sir, to the, in your own words, most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> I I read that comment and I was just, I started bursting me shit laughing. <laughs> I said, there's been a few people that are like, like it was a scout spirit. There's been a few people that are like, this is like the best thing ever. And I'm like, well, fucking pay for it then. <laughs> I, give me all your money. <laughs> pay for painting, goo. Especially considering the stress of the current fucking climate. I'm fucking like, oh, Jesus. I am inundated with financial bureaucracy of late. I must deal with the mortal tendencies to be fucking just reduced to staring at paper with words on it for long periods of time because some person in an office deems it necessary lest i lest i no longer get my fucking pittance from the government like you know, <laughs> why don't you get a real job let's not start that story again <laughs> oh Working in warehouses, like that, like that's how that's how uh, that's how much it sucks 
to uh, be a bum uh, on welfare is uh, oftentimes there's like, you know, an actual, there's a voice in my head that's like, like sometimes I want to go back to my shitty warehouse jobs. <laughs> and like fucking give up everything I've worked towards over the past three years since that fucking like, well, hold on a minute. Was it the government itself who fucking, you know, all the governments worldwide, realm wide, who got in on that big con called COVID-19, like, you know, that like fucked everyone up and everything for like a whole, at least two years. People couldn't even fucking sit beside their loved ones in funerals because of bureaucracy and corrupt shit and paperwork and all that crap, like, you know. And in the, la in the last like couple of weeks, I've between family shit and now leading up to Christmas and dealing with this bollocks, I'm just like, oh, at least. Here, on Painting Goo, I am not inundated with the frivolous happenings of Babaron. Babaron can go fuck itself. Here, on this stream, I am God. A former God. However, you know, one can easily argue that I am not actually a God. Yes, I am a demigod. Leaked out of heaven for painting the Monkey King's penis. Motherfucker asked for a portrait. What are you gonna do? Like, you know, I do like I do what I am told to do. What is asked of me, I perform like a monkey. I even relate to the little fucker, and still he petitioned to have me removed from the halls of heaven, kicked all the way down the mountain to here, where I reside at the base of the divine mountain. Shamed for doing what I do best, speaking truth. True creative artistic formats. Even heaven itself has its hypocrisies and contradictions. What are you going to do? Argue with gods? I tried. Eons. Eons of sitting around, not eating, not drinking. You don't need to. You're a god. All of that shit is just pure leisure. Pure extra in the divine halls. That is why I dedicated thousands of years to perfecting the art of painting. Not enough for these supposed gods. Even gods can be offended. Irrational. Undisciplined. They said I was irrational. That I was undisciplined. All I did was paint the painting goo. Monkey King asks for a portrait. Do you turn him down? He's the Monkey King. I was honored to paint his portrait. Is it my fault he has a tiny penis? No, it is not. It is, is it my fault even gods laugh at that shit? No, it is not. Could I have just given him a big one? Yes. But the artistic value would have been reduced. It would have been a parody. I would have considered it a mockery of my art to, to lie in painting goo. Blasphemy. I have been dishonored by gods. Such things were thought possible only by the ignorant, which I was. I was ignorant. I was ignorant to the inner workings of even heaven itself. Bureaucracy. Emotion. Betrayal. It wasn't just the Greeks. Damnable gods, the lot of them. I prefer being a demigod. Being part mortal is not so bad. First time I had a shit was dramatizing. I mean, I've done one before, but it's just been so long. You lose the co like the concept of time does not exist in heaven. You see, I had long forgotten 
what shitting felt like. Being more, half mortal, part mortal, a fragment of mortal. Of course we get that fragment. Why can't demigods just like, what, I, I retained my painting goo powers, but now I have to deal with having an asshole. Part of me being an asshole. Egos are less of an issue in the halls of heaven. Everything's eternal. When somebody has a bitch fit, doesn't really matter. You know? Can't kill each other. Unless we really want to. Which is another story in itself. That little prick is lucky that I don't get the magical knife. Shove it right, but right up his little hairy ass. Disgrace me. After asking for the painting. Employ my services and then betray my honor. I know you're listening. Damnable fools. A lot of them call themselves gods. All they are is permanent assholes instead of temporary ones. I think they're so much better than the mortals. I laugh. I laugh at them. For we may be ignorant. But at least we're having some fun. Apparently, I have converted Sapphire Elf. This is good. I need this today. Shit. <laughs> Shit's been enough. Shit's been rough. Nigga, I feel you. If you can't tell, I fucking feel you. I, I need this. I <laughs> Do you need this, Carlos? I thought so. It's always good to just get a nod from the tiger in the corner. If you haven't liked and subscribed, the likelihood of me removing his bucket and unleashing me up, unleashing him upon you only increases. You don't want me to take the bucket off of the tiger's head. I'm so drunk and Australian right now. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> I lost so much honor, I'm here to replenish my lack of it. Well, I haven't seen any, any evidence of your honor level increasing. Although I am catching up on the comments, so I could be wrong. But I don't think I am. It needs a Bob's, <laughs> Bob Ross squatch. I'll just say, I'll just put like Bob Ross's head in a bush or some shit like. It'd be real easy to paint that nigga just in a bush like. It's Afrikaans for a good day, sir. That's hilarious. Good dog, Manil! <laughs> good dog, Manil! That's hilarious. <laughs> what he said, yeah, what he said. <laughs> oh. Can you feel it? Can you feel it building in the background while I finger the chatu? The power of painting goes slowly rising. Up your spina. Cause it is nearly timer. Oh painting goo! Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. It's painting goo. Painting you. Painting me. It's painting goo. Let's fucking go. Yo. We already have our next destination. 
Liberia. My memory serves correctly. Bring a good football. Welcome to Benjingu. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I'll cook you dinner because I'm thrifty. I'm not cheap. <laughs> That's hilarious. These mortal annoyances, of which there are many, brother. We all know this. I'm praise on disability. Now the doctors have me alone because I'm like Ca Casey Jones. <laughs> oh my god. You're just like, you're just streaming on the internet like a madman. I can relate. The nature of monkey is irrepressible. <laughs> Oh. Uh, God of African leisure here, I can imagine. Probably high off your ass on fucking homemade wine or some shit right now. <laughs> the fan flex is primeval. <laughs> 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 Nobody. I. You 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 don't know how much enjoyment I get out of life. I I might enjoy flicking my fan a bit too much, but like just how it looks and sounds on screen, even in like here, how it looks and sounds to me when I'm just like, greetings, welcome to Pace. Hey. Yeah. My fan skills are legendary. Like, I've like I've had discussions about buying a bladed fan just for the stream, like you know, just like, but it's purple, you know, and my royal rag is purple, so it would have to be a purple bladed fucking like. I'm gonna get a fucking pimp, like a pimped out fucking gold and violet bladed fucking Mortal Kombat fan, like. <laughs> end up fucking like I'll be like <laughs> welcome to f and you just see like half my beard just come off and like <laughs> shit <laughs> oh. I might sell brushes at one stage made out of my own beard hair wonder if that's a thing fatality friendship <laughs> Sir Jesus Jones, the Lionheart Floyd. What a name. What a person. If he indeed existed in the first place. Right, I want to catch up and chat, and then I'm going to sign this one, and we'll start a new one. We're going to Liberia today. Because I think this painting goes done. This this is a this is a nice painting. It came out beautifully. I'm very fond of the crow. I fucking love crows, man. They're beautiful creatures. Um, humanity is divinity. I agree with this. Elf re-teach kingship. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Twinker and Barrow, Welcome all. Oh, painting go. The little forest elf that has strolled into painting go recently, uh, hails from Australia, which is hilarious. We have an Australian forest elf <laughs> joining us on painting. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. His honours over 9,000! <laughs> Antonio, welcome all to painting group. How are you? Um, the gods are not Kanoan and if you do risen, then to hell with you. <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm, like I'm in the, I'm deep in the gravy when it comes to like, uh, like, are there multiple gods? Like, is there only one true god? What is a god? Like, is there different tiers of god? Like, when you get to like god level, is there then like you know? Because it's like, what are angels then? Like, they're just like immortal. What's the difference between being like immortal and a god? You know, like, it's like all of these questions that I have about how like the ethereal realm 
works and what the rules are and stuff like you know and it's like I've I really do have a feeling that like as above so below applies to like almost everything across the board and like when you extrapolate that concept onto the ethereal ethereal realm what I think of is that like we are like there's a civilization above us just like there's a civilization here with like power dynamics and rules and so on and so forth there is like a whole other realm of activity where people things creatures whatever you want to call them make decisions that impact our lives down here but we also have free will you know so it's, it's very interesting it's fascinating shit but yeah like I'm like I'm forever pondering you know I mean Cthulhu C Cthulhu Cthulhu like when you see like a concept like that like you know or the Greek gods or the like you know the Viking gods it's all just so cool like do you know what I mean but at the same time you can totally imagine that like people throughout the ages just made all that shit up you know about real people who did real shit and it's just stories you know that contain true concepts painting goo it's painting goo we're painting you we're painting goo oh, I fucking love that bit need to sign this bitch this is insane. Quite, quite insane. Although considering the utter state of the outside realm, it's actually quite sane. <laughs> so welcome, and may you remain here on Painting Goo. It's Painting Goo. It's big. Let's sign this bitch. That's my brack. Good bit of brack. Just a rick of it. A wee squirt to get the goo throwing. Okay. And so, our adventures in Togo, Africa. Come to a conclusion. This is still way too gooey. More water, like Father Jack would say. There we go, much better. He has been signed. Right. Get rid of this bitch. We get a new one. We get out the map, and then we get out the hat. And then we're off to Liberia. Wherever the fuck that is. If you would like to purchase any of the painting goods, simply DM me or leave it in the comments. Yeah. 
are a beautiful sight. A rank canvas. On which a new painting goose shall be born. Is your blood flowing yet? It should be. <laughs> it's time to fucking painting you. Right. Where's my bitch? Where, 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 where's the bitch? Dancing with demons. This genius, space is it? this genius can get the fuck off my stream and sell his fucking shit somewhere else. That's what that fucking genius can do. Fuck you and fuck Tesla. Goddamn peddlers. Peddling their shit on my stream. The nerve. Nobody asked me if I wanted random advertisements interrupting my painting group. Look at it in all its glory. It's prank glory. Paint, paint. Let's get these bitches wet to. Where's my big bitch? Hey, hey. Dip her right in. Get it all the way down there. So that the hair is touching the bottom of the bucket. Swill her around, then halfway out, beat the shit out of her. And use your royal rank to get all rid of all the evidence. Blah, 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 blah. Said that all fucked up. I have a gut of water all over my ankles. <laughs> Right. I have no idea what Liberia looks like, but I'm about to find out. And then we're off to Liberia. And then I'll do the hat. Actually, I'll do, I'll do the hat now. So we know what we're painting in Liberia. And then I'll look up what Liberia looks like. Where's me a bitch? Right. Stream is lit. <laughs> you are bringing much honor to yourself and your family with your comment. Or paint soup for the mortal soul, man. If you could get a fucking uh, a soup that fucking had the creamy consistency and the smell of burnt sienna, <laughs> like if there was edible burnt sienna, like <sighs> shit smells amazing. Hello, it's me, Three Thought Bear. It's <laughs> hilarious. It's definitely fish monsters. <laughs> what the fuck? Can we get the slow banger going soon? You must have patience. To Acre and Diberu. For someone who required me to have 
a year-long amount of patience to await the markers that you were going to send me. You have fuck all patience. You can't wait for like an hour <laughs> for the other tunes. The waterfall looks great. What waterfall? <laughs> I love being behind on the comments sometimes, it's hilarious. I'll send you the test one. Alright, what's this? Elf was already thinking how to make one. I'm gonna use tape measure steel. How to make what? What did I- what? Oh, a fucking fan? No way. You're gonna make me a fan? Um, Just super glue some kunai knives to the existing fan. I'll just order some kunai off of Amazon and super glue them to the fan, yeah? Just for now, like, yeah. <laughs> Wrong! Throws large spiders like ninja star. Uh, I like I said that before ages ago that I would love to have like a cork wall in the background where like somebody could like say something in the comments or like something could happen or like doing the painting or some shit like anything like you know and I'll just get like really pissed off and just like pick up a fucking like tomahawk or a throwing axe or a hatchet or a shuriken ninja star kunai whatever just some type of like throwing weapon you know like I'll just be <laughs> I'll just be like, here on painting goo, one of the 12 P's of painting goo is patience, perseverance, good posture, you know, and then I fuck up and then I'm just like, yeah, I yeah, just like, pick up a fucking thing and just mill at the wall behind me, like, I'd like, I'd love props like that. Like, I, I, that's what I'd need though. I'd literally need a whole wall made of cork or like some kind of styrofoam or some shit. And it need to be like a few inches thick. Cause like I would fucking like bury a fucking axe in a wall. Like, especially if it's like right there. <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking. It's like various ninja tools like lying around. Like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, there is only over 9,000, dude. Anything over 9,000 is hilarious. That Dragon Ball Z reference is one of the funniest things on the internet. Like, his power's over 9,000! And it's just Radix, like, screaming with the fucking, like, oh, it's so funny. Like, Dragon Ball Z is hilarious. It's so funny. Like, it's so dramatic. It's so, like, over the top, like, but in a in a hilarious way, like um, Griff getting some hot sauce sent to him. That's hilarious. Yeah, I do philosophy. Don't hurt my brain. Oh, I can only imagine. I, like I've never I've never devoted myself into studying any of that shit because it's the it is the biggest fucking rabbit hole. Like section of rabbit holes is like. Theology and philosophy and all this fucking crap. It's like I would much rather just be here having a good time. Um, Iron Man Baru, welcome to painting. -o. I hope I'm not reading your comment too too late. Too. Um, yeah, it's just us half a dozen or so weirdos every day here. <laughs> I, I I love it. I fucking love it. Like, like, I finished with some metal and all yesterday, like, and, like, there's some people in the comments that, like, are just, you know, a few people are like, right, I'm out, I'll see you later and all, and I'm just here moshing with the lads, like, you know, this fucking breakdown's lit, like, <laughs> oh, God, the megalithic builder race, which one? <laughs> I'm a smithy, my God is proto-indo-european serpents of fire that bring wisdom and civilization so you're like viking adjacent i'm pro like you're probably that like that's my vibe i swear to god that's i swear to the gods i don't know fucking like what is it one or many i couldn't give a fuck like do you know what i mean 
like I don't care. Like I don't like I don't care how many monumentally more powerful and more aware beings there are than me. Like, do you know what I mean? Just knowing that there something like that more than likely exists is just a good bit of info to have. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like like you never interact with any of them. Like nobody gets a fucking like like Thor doesn't drop in on a fucking on a Thursday and just be like, greeting citizen. Have you been praying lately? Because if you haven't, you know, say hello to Molnir. <laughs> like, that shit doesn't... Ha- like, there's no tangible... Like, that's what gives... What are they called? Secular uh, societies and all these fucking, like, you know, nihilistic lunatics who believe in the science. That's what gives them the excuse to be like, oh, it's all fake, it's not real, it's just in your head. You know, God's not real, it's just a fantasy we made up to con- to control idiots, like, you know, to control the masses. Like, religion is just a simple unit of, uh, a system of control. It's like... Yeah, now that in a sense that's true, but like to completely and utterly disregard all of the truths, all of the other truth that exists within all of the literature from all the cultures about mystical shit that you can't see, touch, smell, or hear, but that clearly has some sort of impact on your life in really fucked up and weird ways. Like, they know it. You know, they know that that shit is real. Otherwise, they wouldn't have all of their fucking little owl head meetings in a forest and suck each other off and fucking, like, lap in coffins. Like, it's gobshites, the lot of them, like. How do I get, how do I get one you painting for Xmas if I trade you for, you want to trade a painting for Vegemite? (laughs) <laughs> How much Vegemite are we talking? Like a liter of Vegemite? Like, <laughs> I, what's the what's the exchange rate on Vegemite to Euro? I have said it once. I've said it a thousand times. You people are not welcome on painting goo when you peddle your shit. Paint, paint. Um, do you want a painting done? Like, do you want like do you want to commission a painting or do you want to just like I still have to I, I have to get up all of my available paintings and like list them on Instagram or YouTube or something like the amount of shit I have here that like nobody knows about like um and, like every few every few streams I'm just like you want to buy this <laughs> like paint paint yeah how how many Vegemites equals painting. Well, like, what's a what's a tub of Vegemite? You know, what do you do with them in? Like, I think well, you're in Australia, so like, would you guys would you guys do it in like uh, ounces and shit like that, or is it in milliliters and liters? Because I think I think like either a few jars of Vegemite, maybe like. A box, like six maybe, or a big jar of Vegemite, like a liter. If it's like, ho- I'm assuming it's homemade shit, you know. I'm assuming, like, I mean, you said you're thrifty, you know. So I'm assuming this is like Vegemite you've made yourself, you know. So I'm like, you give me a liter of that shit, I'll give you a painting, you know, considering how much effort went into making the Vegemite. If you're just buying Vegemite and then sending it to Ireland, you know, I'll, I'll send you a doodle. <laughs> you know, like, I do Defender doodles. <laughs> I should do them again. I haven't done them in a while. Um, 80 subs. I know. Fucking uh, upstate mama bear sub last night. Got me to 80. God bless her. God bless you, upstate mama bear. Um... I want it for Xmas for Vegemite. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I'll send you recipe for brown gravy and how to make toast. I know, like, dude, I can make my own gravy and I obviously how to know how to make toast. <laughs> Fucking Australians are so cheap. Like, I'll teach you how to make toast. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
I'll send you a recipe on how to make brown gravy and toast in exchange for a painting. The world, the, the world hasn't collapsed that badly yet where the knowledge of how to make toast and brown gravy equals the labor and, and like resources required to make a painting. That would be fucking hilarious. What have you to offer for a painting group? Well, I can teach you how to make toast and uh, brown gravy. It's like, accept it. Hey, you have a deal, sir. I fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. That canvas. It's not even a canvas. It's just paper. It's a, It's paper strapped to a foam board. It's not even a canvas. I used to do them on the foam boards, but then, like, I have, like, fucking, I have, like, s fucking a huge batch of foam boards, like, taking up a section of the room. And now I have a whole suitcase full of these, like, paper paintings. It's, like, 50-odd fucking painting goos. The plan is to do a book of painting goo. I only ped, I only pedal Vegemite. I will allow you to peddle your homemade Vegemite here. If it is indeed homemade. If we figure you out to be a charlatan, there will be consequences. You will suffer the ban fan. Paint, paint. Um, you bloody kangaroo. <laughs> I make good roux pie. I, am I, I can imagine that's all right, like... I can imagine kangaroo meat just being like rabbit meat, but bigger. <laughs> like, just stand clear of my kitchen and hold my beer, man. I can only like I would love to like visit you and fucking have you cook me a meal, you know? Like, cause like it's not like Australian cuisine would be like that far detached from what I'm used to eating. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like fucking barbecue, you know? <laughs> like. But it'd just be the animals involved, like, uh, you ever eaten a raccoon before? <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking crocodile meat and shit, like. Just, oh no, I already read that one. I've had roux kebabs before, great taste. I'd say, I'd say it's nice. They have zero saturated fats, so you need to wrap your roux steak in bacon or something. <laughs> or you marinate your gravy. <laughs> Them niggas be lean as fuck. That's hilarious. Kangaroo pie, like that's an that's that's one I haven't heard in a while. Like roux and onion gravy stir fry steak strips pie. That's f that actually sounds really nice. <laughs> oh, spinach, mashed potato. Yeah, man. Now you are speaking my language. Uh, well, yeah, we're going to Liberia. We still have to look it up. Elf is a kitchen witch. And then I sent the wrong ones. Well, you did and you didn't. I, like, you're right. I did send you an image of those markers at one point because I was like... I don't want you to spend a lot of money on like the really expensive ones, like so I sent you one so I sent you that one. And then you were like, No, go on, like send me the fucking yeah, send me the expensive ones, like the ones you want. And I was like, Okay. And then I sent you those ones. And then you you got me the first ones. But it's fine. It's still like that's still a lot of money. Like that's why I said it in the first place. I was like, bro, that's gonna cost you like easily two or three hundred dollars to get the markers I want and ship them over. You know? I knew I knew it'd be like that, like Uh, I'll trade for five pounds of spam. Yeah. Internationally shipped tinned meat. And it's not even like real meat. Yeah. I'm not taking that deal. No, sir. What meetings have you been to in the woods? Uh, lately, none. But there was that one time in that one place with that one troll 
paint me a jar of you want me to paint you a jar of Vegemite? Like just like the brand Vegemite. So you want me to paint you a brand you want me to paint you like the mainstream Vegemite and you're gonna send me some homemade Vegemite in return? That's pretty funny. I don't know, but one hot dog equals roughly a nickel. What, are you gonna send me? Are you gonna pay for painting you and hot dogs? I know I said no to spam, but I really like hot dogs. <laughs> sounds feck all terrible. What sounds terrible? Oh, what the fuck is Vegemite anyway? It's like a. It's like a spread. It's similar to like a... It's similar to like a chutney. Uh, like an onion chutney or something like, you know, it's a, it's a spread. You can be used as a spread or like a, or a side dip or something. And it's just made out of like various vegetables. It's basically just mushed up and I think fermented in vinegar vegetables. With like various ingredients, like peppers and such. Okay, yeah, I made it. Yeah, if you if you may if you make your own shit, I'll trade you some Vegemite for a painting. But like, confirm that you actually want me to paint you it. Like, w what kind of Vegemite do you want me to paint you? Because I'll just look up Vegemite on Google, get an image, and paint you a Vegemite. Do you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, like, you'll have to like send me a fucking like. Are you on Telegram or something? I don't know. Like, or like, can you? You can't put it in the comments or anything like if you could send me a photo of one of your jars of Vegemite in like nice lighting on a table, I'll do that for you. And you can send me like a hundred and fifty dollars. Wait, this is Australian dollars, isn't it? About two hundred dollars worth of your Vegemite would be enough for a bit. Oh well, how big do you want it? You know, like if it's like if it's this big, that's gonna cost you about two, three hundred quid. You know, that's like that's a three, or is it? No, that's a two. That's a two. If you only want a small one, it won't cost you that much. Like you know, like, like a jar or two. Like you want a big painting? We're talking liters. <laughs> We're talking like. When the, when the guy when the guy come, when the mailman comes to my front, front door with this like fat of Vegemite, <laughs> this was sent to you from Australia. Oh, this Aussie is odd. Is an odd bird. I like the cut of his chip. Yeah, he seems all right. We seem to have picked up a a bear adjacent Australian. I'll send you my washing for a painting. <laughs> you cheeky cunt. How dare you. I'll, I'll fucking... I'll like... Cover all of your washing in paint and send it back to you. <laughs> and it would be an improvement. Oh my god, my face hurts. <laughs> Man, that happens to me on this. And it's not because of what I'm doing. I read the comments sometimes and I do... My fucking cheeks hurt like... Uh... That's because all they do is bounce and kickbox all day. Yeah, I know. Like, you see, you eat a fucking... You eat a fucking kangaroo, like, and the first thing that, like, came into my mind was, like, they're basically a giant rabbit. Like, they're lean as fuck. There'd be no fat on them at all, like... But I've heard rabbit's good. I don't think I've ever actually had rabbit, though. Like, I might have, and I just can't remember. Um, The shipping was fucking expensive. Yeah, I know. The shipping's brutal lately, man. Seriously, like... Even for me, just sending something to the UK, like, and paying customs and shit, it's a fucking bitch, like, it, it's almost like they don't want us to internationally trade independently. I got the ones with the wrong tips, too. Well, that's what it is, it's like, if the ones you got me had the same tips as... The other ones, but weren't, like, you know, the same brand. I wouldn't care. You know, an alcohol marker is an alcohol marker, you know, for the most part. That being said, Copic markers, the reason they're so expensive is because they're just, like, insanely high quality, you know? 
like the cut, the ink and the color and all, like you know, and like the Windsor new ones that you got me have a tendency. They're just like not as high quality, and they have a tendency to leak, and they don't have the brush tip, you know. But the ink quality is actually still really good. You know, and there's loads of different shades and shit, like, you know, so the hues and stuff are quite good. But the physical marker itself, like the container for the ink, is like a lower quality, more massly produced. Well, obviously, Copic is mass produced as well, but like, you get where I'm coming from. Like, you can just, you know, when you just pick something up, you know, and you can just, it's like that scene in Jurassic Park. It's like, you know, how heavy is it? Like, you know, if it's heavy, it's probably really expensive. You know, <laughs> like, that's. Is it worth its weight in gold? Like, that kind of shit. Like, that's how I judge things. I make sausage sandwiches for New Year's in the park. And have relish mustard sauces and kimchi spicy. So good here. Square. Right here, snag. But the way you type, man, is... Full. Man, I thought, like, reading Irish people text was bad. Holy shit. Woo! I make sausage sandwiches... Like, not sandwiches. Sandwiches. That's hilarious. For New Year's in the park. And D, have relish mustard. Not tart. Not mustard. Mustard. Sauces. And kimchi spicy. Not spices. Just spicy kimchi. So good here. A square bre brea. Brea. A square brea. Have a snag bung on your onions. Jesus. Does it sound like that? Like, does it sound like that in your head? Because that's mental. My contacts are in my YouTube channel community thingy. Cool. Same. My Instagram and all that shit is there. Like, DM me or some shit. It's, it's not homemade. <laughs> so you didn't make it yourself? It's not homemade? Hold on. I could... So hold on a sec. Okay, yeah, I made it at home. It's not homemade. <laughs> it's not no, if it's not homemade, no deal. I sent Owen a mug. The shipping was so expensive. Yeah, I'd say so. And like, where are you, Anthony? Three hot Peru. Where are you residing in? So if you sent one, if you you sent something to Owen, it was really expensive. Let's see it like, because I want to gauge like, because like the, like the like the, for those of you who are quite retarded and don't know or whatever, UK and Ireland are like right beside each other, you know. And up until the last few years, like they had a Brexit thing where they left the fucking European Union and all that shit. So we're still in the European Union, but like the top section of our island technically is still a colony of the uk it still subscribes to all of the laws and the like uh, commerce laws and all that shit to the united kingdom so it's still british so like they left the eu too so like the republic of ireland which is like most of the island is in the eu still but the top corner of the island isn't it's it left with the uk or whatever like even they were having a fucking like talk about like well just because you want to leave doesn't mean we have to and all this stupid shit i'm convinced uh because that caused a lot of like financial like bullshit and like banks and all this money trade shit and all this stuff like so i'm assuming that affected uh transportation and postal services and like you know international packages and shit like that like so even me trying to send something in the post to the island right beside my island is like a bureaucratic mess the last few years. And it's even worse when someone in Britain tries to send something to me. It takes way too long and it costs them a fucking bomb. It's crazy. It's fucking, it's madness like. Order madness like. There's ways around it though. Um, Like there's this thing called the Western Union. And like uh, one of the guys who bought my paintings, like not one of the painting was like one of my symmetrical things. Um, like Sapphire Elf, just so you know, this is this is actually how I make my money. <laughs> I 
I paint really cool looking stuff. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not just laughing on the internet like as a Bob Ross fucking like you know. Like the last painting I sold sold for like four hundred and fifty quid. So I'm not like I'm not selling originals for like thousands of euros yet. But like I saw that one, and the way your man paid me was through this thing in the post office called Western Union, and uh, I was like, oh. You can you can just like send money like you know and it's all through the post office and shit. So there's ways around everything, but like none of it's spoken about and none of it is like just like shown to you up front. You have to like inquire and investigate and like figure all this shit out for yourself. Especially if you're like me and you're trying to run your own business. Like if you're just trying to be like an independent artist who creates shit and just sells it to the public, like completely off your own back. You know, or like on fucking YouTube or some shit like that. Like, because I've done it like just here where I live. Like the barbers down the barbers down the road has one of my paintings like o like up on their wall, and like did like you know no money was exchanged. I was just I just walked into them. I was like, can I put a painting so like I like advertises my shit, and they just let me put my painting up on their fucking thing. Like one of the one of the chiropractors did it as well. Like you know, so like I have done so much shit in like real life to try and like you know promote my art but because i'm in a small town you know didn't really work out like you know and like going online and shit it's hilarious because like it's just, it's just like it, some of the shit costs money and then if you're not like fucking you know if you don't know how to fucking build your own website you basically have to buy a template or some shit like are you you subscribe to one of those websites where it's like easier to, you, to make a website because they use like pre-selected templates and shit like it's just such a fucking like a lot of it I just find like gets in the way I just like make something awesome looking and then show it and then I'm like this is how much it costs who wants it you know and it's like it's so fucking like like I get I get why people like you know do Instagram things of like oh it's so hard to be an artist and shit it's like yeah it's stressful and shit like but it's like the re the reasons they complain about trying to be an artist are so like first world problemy you know like oh it's so difficult to be creative I've got writer like I've got artist block and I don't know what to paint and it's so hard to like find a niche and like all that no it's not all like all of that shit's a total fucking lie like what what i've come across is like you get fucking like algorithmically fucked because you're not doing what everyone else is doing do you know what i mean like if i don't use a trending soundtrack and if i don't do it a certain fucking way and if i don't like spend lots of time on tiktok liking other people's shit all the time like you, know, you just get like algorithmically shoehorned into this position where like nobody sees your shit it's ridiculous like it makes sense like do you know what i mean we live in a time where like everything's bullshit like everything in the mainstream is a con it's just utter shit it's built on fucking a house of cards nobody knows what they're doing or how shit works or why you have to do things a certain way they just do what they're told because that's what they get paid to do it's pathetic it's utterly pathetic, like, you know? But what are you going to do about it? Like, you can either complain about it or you can, like, do shit, like, you know? But then then you're like me and you do shit. And you, you it's still, like, it's still there, like, do you know what I mean? You just got to, like, you just got to grind through that, like, period where, like, you know, there, there's just, like, levels of bureaucratic bullcrap that you have to push through till you get to another level of bureaucrat bureaucratic bullcrap. Like I, imagine when I like when I actually start making enough money off my art that I have to fucking pay taxes. Jesus. I'm gonna have to hire a Jew. Thank you. It's always nice to just be handed a, like a, cup, a random cup of tea. Like rabbit is tasty, but you gotta make it swim in butter to get your fat in. 
So if you're gonna eat kangaroo or rabbit, you need to fucking add fat. That's good to know. And it baconated cheesy rabbit. <laughs> baconated. <laughs> I fucking love that. Baconated. Hold on, I baconate this chicken. Um, even inside US, shipping is fucking nuts right now. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm going bankrupt sending out my hot sauce. Man, I am, I am the same. Like, my, the female, like, told me that I was being stupid and all, like, because I was spending money to send people my paintings to the point where I wasn't making that much of a profit. But it's like, I'm trying to build something, like, you know, that's, like, mine. And I have, like, regular customers and, like, people who genuinely like my art and what I do and shit. Like, do you know, like... When I show people the symmetricals and all, they're like, wow, that's really cool looking. So I'm like, okay, so what I do works. And people like what I do. Like, like people have bought my paintings and, it, and I can make money doing it. I just don't make enough yet to turn around to the government and being like, yeah, I, like here's a paper, piece of paper that says I'm self-employed and like I'm eligible to pay. Like I'm not eligible to pay tax yet because I don't make enough money. So I'm still just on welfare trying to, like, make enough money so that I don't have to be on welfare, you know? And it's like, you get people being like, well, just get a job. And it's like, how the fuck would I have a full, even a part-time job and do two, like, streaming and fucking hours of painting plus all the other shit I do because my missus has a job, so I'm the one that's in the house all the time. <laughs> like, it's like... Like, I fucking walk around and do the fucking groceries. Like, I don't have a car. I fucking walk everywhere. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, people assume that, like, you're in a better position than them or you're in the same position and shit like that. Like, that's what I find, like, irritating and, like, incredibly retarded about most people is, like, when I meet a stranger, I assume nothing. The shit I, if I do assume anything, it's based on their body language and their speech, you know, like what they say and what they do. I don't look at them and go like, oh, you're one of these, you're one of those, you're one of these, you're one of those, you're one of these, you're one of those. Like, it's like other people do that to me, though. They just like assume because I pick up a welfare check that I'm a bum, you know, they don't like ask me like, you know, fuck it. Like, oh, well. Why don't you have a job? And then I'll fucking turn around and be like, well, I did have a job. I had many jobs. And then this shit happens. <laughs> like, and I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, well, I'll just get another job. You know, I was like, no, fuck this. I want to do something with my life. Do you know? And it's like, <laughs> people don't realize how difficult it is to actually try and do something with your life. <laughs> like, it's incredibly stressful. All the responsibilities on me. I've no boss telling me that if I don't show up on time, I'm not going to get my paycheck. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I don't do on, I don't make money. If I don't fucking, like, show the government everything, they'll fucking, they could prosecute me because they think I'm making money on the side like a criminal. <laughs> like, show us the receipts, you ginger fuck. It's like, bitch, I paint stuff. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure I get, like, uh, I don't know how it works here. I'm going to have to look into it. But I'm pretty sure if I just, like, take my paintings outside into the town down the street and just, like, put them out and be like, does anybody want to buy a painting? That's, like, illegal. Like, isn't that crazy? That I can't, you can't just, like, you have to, like, apply for a license to sell stuff in the public where you live. Like, you can't just make something with your own... Like, you buy resources with your own money. And then you make something, whatever it is. And you just sell it somewhere. It has to be in a place that's, like, you know, owned by someone who gets a cut. It's so fucked, like... Like, there's community stuff around here where, like, I've looked into where, like... Oh, I could, like, bring my paintings there and sell my paintings there. But there's always, like, a farm to fill... And like a fucking, uh, you know, like a group to join or some shit, like, you know, they're always like, okay, so like do this, this and this, and we'll let you sell your stuff here. It's like, so I can't just like post up in the middle of the town where everybody's walking 
you know, and just be like, paintings, does anybody want to buy a painting? But like other people can do that because they're like regulated by the government and all this fucking shit. Like they can like, you know, pass out leaflets for fucking like anything. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's fucking like Amnesty International could just like put on fucking yellow coats and walk around town and be like, do you want to donate money to the children in Africa? But like a person here can't just make something and just sell it outside. But I can go on the internet and sell it. I can put it up on the internet and sell it, you know? It's like, it's like, what the fuck? Like, everything's just so, like, warped. It's all, like, entangled intentionally into such a position where, like, you can't just, like, well, not that you can't, but it is it is incredibly and increasingly incredibly difficult to just genuinely interact with people without some kind of paperwork being involved. It's crazy. Hey, haha, yes, I have head injuries. Oh my god. That's my favorite comment of the day. I have head injuries. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you're in the UK? I'm moving back to Spain in 2024. Ah, uh, part of me wouldn't mind living in Spain. But I, I enjoy the winter. You know. It can be the bit, the cold can be a bitch. But I, I do enjoy the winter. I, lo I love, I love the aesthetic of winter and the, the cozy, you know, Roaring fire, Christmassy feel to winter. I do love that. Like, <laughs> leave the EU. Yeah, like I know. Like, part part of me. Like, there's a part of me that would love to leave Ireland. Like many people have, because it's a corrupt, bureaucratic shithole in lots of ways. But the people here and the culture here and the island itself is beautiful. It really is. Like you know. You know, the, the pe like, it's like, it just, it is what it is. And it's the same with many places, like, do you know what I mean? You hear all sorts about all the, like, Australia, like, I, like, fucking, uh, what's that place called? Queen, Queen, uh, fucking Victoria. Victoria in fucking, in Australia is like a fucking woke hellscape now. You know, like be, uh, being in Victoria during COVID from what I've seen and heard was fucking insane. Um, and like even before that, like they were going mad over the whole PC shit and all the social fucking justice bollocks. Like, you know, it's like a large portion of the population has, won for lack of a better term, gone insane. Like has just chose, has actively chose through, through a series of decisions of about five or ten years, they have chosen to, uh, like, it all began with the N-word, I think. I, like, well, not that it all began with the N-word, but the N-word's a big one. I think, like, I, like, that's why Owen, you know, really hammers that home. That's why Owen Benjamin really hammers that home. Because it is, it's very important. Like, like I said a minute ago, if you can't honestly and genuinely interact with someone, um, if you have to adhere to nonsense to interact with someone, then you're interacting with someone who adheres to nonsense. So, logically, you're interacting with a crazy person. You're interacting with a madman. You're interacting with an insane person. Or at least a, a person adhering to the protocol and parameters of an insane entity or business or authority that they think, you know, exists over them or some shit, like, you know? And, like, you you do have to interact with that on a daily basis, you know? To, like, no matter your fucking, like, ideology or belief system or whatever, like, we can all be like, you know, escape the Matrix, bro. Whatever. You still have to interact with Bab Bab uh, Babylon, you know? Even if you're, like, you know, in it, not of it, all that fucking shit. But, like... There is something to be said of, like, because there is no... Not that there's no... It can be exceedingly... It has become exceedingly difficult to... 
prevent or process the frustrations and stress that inevitably results from interacting with an insane society. Um, so because like there's an increasing amount of people who feel like they cannot express themselves genuinely, which is hilariously ironic because you know, the, the, the mainstream media is like telling us that we all need to tolerate people so they can be their, their genuine selves, while subsequently engaging in behavior that results in all of us not being able to express ourselves genuinely and honestly. <laughs> like, lest we have our money taken away from us or, you know, be publicly smeared as like some fucking bigot or some shit like you know it's fucking lunacy <laughs> which is why one must mock it relentlessly one must just call a nigger when a fuck you just like is that a nigger yes that's some nigger behavior is that some bullshit yes is that a tranny yes is that a like do you know what I mean? Is, is that bitch being a cunt? Yes. Oh, you're so vulgar. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like... We're... The same people that tell you that you cannot say certain words because they are, in quotes, offensive or violent are the same people that will uh, put you in a position where you can do no physical action because of how they feel about your words. Like, it is an inherent inversion of common sense or logic. Do you know what I mean? The fact that, like, most people don't just freak out and strangle on the spot some, like, th those people that adhere to this ideology, like, do you know what I mean? Like, there are so many people that are blessed that they haven't been dragged out of their house by a mob and just hanged, you know, or, like, burnt at the stake. Like, like that's what people used to do. Like, oh, that bitch crazy. And people would just get together in a mob and fuck shit up. Isn't it kind of funny now how all the mobs seem to do shit that just makes the government's job easier? Oh, there was a riot. Yeah, three days later, here's all these laws that basically make it so that none of you can say shit about anything. Oh, we should riot again. You're like, are you like you people are so fucking stupid. Like that's what that's what really gets up my wick. Is on the daily. I have to enter in the real world, right? Here on Painting Goo, I am a beautiful soul and I create beautiful things for the beautiful people on the stream. But outside, outside is up beyond reproach to the point where your average interaction with another human being has been reduced to nothing but insane protocol. Where you get left with a sense of like, you know, if we were just living back in medieval times, bitch, I would just drag you out and slap you around because there's no talking to these people. Do you know what I mean? There's no, there's like, there's no talking to someone who has no concept of reality. Their concept of reality, their reality is, oh, well, I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job, said the Nazi, which is hilarious, isn't it? Because these people would be the ones to call someone like me a Nazi because I'll say a word like nigger. Like, uh, like and they, ha they cannot comprehend how stupid they are, how ignorant they are. So they are blessed that I have the self-control not to kill them where they stand for their impudence, their their lack of like their lack of 
gratuity for not being treated like the troglodyte they are. Like the system has created a situation where absolute filth can have a car and a job and kids and get in a load of debt and go on holiday every year and have all these subscriptions to like Sky Telly and fucking Netflix and like all this fucking shit. They have all that shit and they're a fucking waste of space. They're, they are a fucking retarded, ignorant, soulless, vacated mess with, with, with a salary, offspring, you know, like, and there's loads of them. There's, a, there's an increasing amount of them, like, do you imagine being the child? I am, I, ha I am the child of, like, I am the offspring of these people. My mother is a pathological lying victim, and my father is a coward. Like, I, I come from utter, just, mediocrity, in the, in the most polite sense I mean that like I like do you know just none of no ambition no loyalty no honor that's where I come from that's why I'm like probably so like why I why I'm like deathly obs not obsessed but like why I preach at least have some fucking honor no matter your circumstances you know, no matter who you are, what you're going through, where you've been, where you are now, what's going on. That's why That's why I love the bear community. That's why I am a bear. It's because I, I get that. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what, what your religion is, what your beliefs are, what your financial fucking situation is. All of these things are meaningless if you are a dickhead. <laughs> like, that's it. That's it in its core. If you're a cunt... None of that matters. Like, I'm not a cunt. I've proved it to myself and the people in my life over the years many a time that I, I refuse. I, I refuse to be a cunt. You know, I use my God-given will to not be a cunt. And I have to deal with cunts all day, every day. Like, oh... Right. Rant over. <laughs> I'm going to sip my tea. I'm going to have a cigarette. And I'm going to paint something beautiful. And I'm going to do it while listening to fucking sick tunes. So, Two Acre. I hope you've been patient enough. But you don't have to be patient anymore. Because here we go. A clickety click here and a clickety click there. Fuck off my stream, you fucking vagrant. Right. I'm going to tell you what chat I'm going to tell you to know. fuck off because my stream, important. you stupid AI generated shithead. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, bears and bear rats, niggers and niggerettes, it is time for raving goo. Russian Fordu, welcome to painting goo. I'm gonna have to go back at the end of the stream and look at all these fucking comments I missed. Right. Where's my rag? We are off to like. Jesus, got real dark in here all of a sudden. Fucking winter. The rack of sun is vexing me. Right. Let's find out what Liberia looks like. Right. 
You are not a frog. <laughs> Jeez, the amount, the amount of comments I have. How long was I ranting? Like, fucking 20 minutes at least, like. I needed to vent. I had a stressful morning, oop. Are you fucking serious? We're going to Africa again? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking half the realm is in Africa. Fucking hell, like. It's another coastal country in Africa. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, so, off to Africa again. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the other light on. Right. Let's see what we're painting in Liberia. Time to snatch you. Just give it to an immigrant to take home. You can't say EU without saying EW. Moneygram or a Western Union. You're, yeah, Western Union is like works like a charm. That's what I do with my crafting now. I don't take commissions. I make what I want to make. And if you don't want it, someone else will. Yeah, man. About 50% of them I give away for free because I get vibes. That's funny, like, I, I only recently tried to give uh, one of my paintings, uh, uh, like, to a friend of mine, like, and he was like, no, I'm not taking it. Like, sell it for money, like. You get people like that, like, they just don't want, like, they, like, they'll, they'll be like, no, like, I'm not taking it for free because I appreciate, like, what you put into it and shit, like. Hey, making criminals daggers is a good thing. I cannot handle dealing with customers or a public. I'm, like, I'm pretty good, like, you know, with social interactions. Like, I'm a very sociable person. It's just, like, now and again, the whole, like, just the way, I, the way my experience has gone since I left school, um, coming from uh, a divorced family home, with like you know one parent able to pay for certain things as like you know trying to get through college and stuff like that i was just like fuck this i'll just get a job you know and then i got jobs and like the job industry here is just so soulless it's so like every company is like a revolving door do you know what i mean because like companies get uh financial incentives from the government to employ foreigners and like get rid of them and then employ another one it's like oh we'll give you all this money and we'll pay for all this shit you know if you employ this foreigner instead of this irish guy you know like and it's just crazy like you know 
and like it's I, I, it's not to say that there isn't a load of people who are like you know alcoholics gambling addicts like proper scum that don't want to work like all like all that is still true but like from the time i have spent in government buildings in welfare uh buildings over the years um in between jobs like getting jobs through the government like through government scheme or some shit like i worked in a radio station for a year uh pro um like at one point like you know and uh the whole thing is just like it's just so soulless nobody gives a fuck nobody gives a fuck who you are where you're coming from what you're trying to do you know and like people will just fucking get rid of you if it means that their money is safer or they get more money or some shit like like this one company that I used to work for uh I got told that I was going to be kept on, that my contract was going to be renewed. And then, what was it like, right after Christmas or something, I helped them move into a new warehouse um, and was still working for them in the new warehouse that I helped them move into. And then they let me go. <laughs> you know, like, like, they didn't just let me go. They got as much work as possible out of me. Till they were in, like, a more comfortable position financially. And then they got rid of me. <laughs> like, like I, I've just... I've, I've experienced some behaviour out of people over the years. Whether it's family members. Just people that you interact with. Whether you're going to a shop. Or, like, if you're dealing with somebody in the government bosses people you work for it's all the same you will come across people who will not think twice about the consequences of their actions when it relates to you Do you know like you could have a manager or a go like just someone working with you who will just tell you something like oh yeah you're not getting that and uh you know uh, we're not we're not doing this so uh if you can you know kindly pack your shit and leave you know, it was nice knowing you. And you're just standing there looking at them being like, Bro, I was like talking to you yesterday and everything was fine. What the fuck? <laughs> like, you didn't mention any of this. Like, like, it's crazy. It is crazy. And like, that's what it is. It makes you crazy. It starts to make you crazy. It starts to make you bitter and resentful because like, you're dealing with people who don't give a fuck. They just they don't care. All they care about is their them and their own, you know? Which is weak. It's weak to not have any like and it's psychotic. It's weak and psychotic to not have like empathy and compassion for your fellow man, whether it be a stranger or not, like, you know? And that's one of the things that pisses me off the most. Is like pretty much like almost like a 95 percentile of the people that I meet on a daily basis and interact with, they smile and they laugh when they interact with me. I'm a nice guy, you know? And then you get then you then you get the ones where despite the fact that you are interacting with with them on an honorable, polite, civilized level, the way they interact with you back deserves a slap in the mouth half the time. But you can't do it because you'll be the one that's arrested for assault. You know, it's ridiculous. That's why you have a situation where you have all these fucking beta fucking cook fucks and all these fags, all these like horrible women. Do you know these like just empty vessel women who just are all about materialism and status and shit like and like. It's because people don't just get a punch in the mouth anymore when they do some crazy shit, you know? You you don't get checked in public anymore by your peers when you try and fuck someone over. Or if you're just an asshole, you know, or if you dishonor someone in your vicinity. Somebody doesn't just like, you know, everybody's not walking around with katanas anymore, you know? So like, if you, if you do some bullshit, you're not going to get like, 
some honorable dude coming up to you being like, Cease your behavior, sir, or I will be forced to thrash you. You know, like... Remember that scene in Eddie, like, a, uh, fucking, what was it? Coming to America or some shit? Where Eddie Murphy is, like, this fucking African prince. And, like, he's, like, royalty. And he, like, comes to America to, like, you know, see how they live and shit. Like, he gets a job in a restaurant and all. And fucking Samuel L. Jackson, like, tries to rob the restaurant with, like, a fucking shotgun. And Eddie Murphy's standing there with a mop. And he's like, if you don't stop, I'll be forced to thrash you. Like, and he says everything to him in a really nice, like, polite manner and all. And he ends up, like, you know, beating the shit out of him with a mop. Like, in real life, he probably would have got blown away with a shotgun, you know? But, like, that's how I interact with the world. I'm like, greetings, fellow citizen. How are you this morning? Like, do you know what I mean? And then, like, you get, like... You just get treated like shit, and you, <laughs> and you just expect it to be like, thank you for this unpleasant interaction. I will now continue about my day with no resentment towards you or the system whatsoever. By now, to, it, it, the only people who can exist in Babylon at this stage are psychopaths, you know? I... <laughs> Like, it's it's becoming increasingly obvious to people. Like, you see so many people waking up now on TikTok, on YouTube, on everything. People, like, a lot of people get fired from Blizzard, you know? And then, like, you have these fucking people who used to work for gaming companies. He used to work for Hollywood. He used to work for this. And they're all just like, I'm done. Fuck this shit. You know? It is like... I demand, I demand to know what's going on in my house. Oh, God. Okay, so I, I had I had more ranting in me. It seems. Right, I'll do the hat. I'll do the hat, and then I'll try and catch up on comments. What are we painting in Liberia? Tell me. Tell me now. Don't fuck me. Oh, pretty flower. We're painting flowers in Liberia. How beautiful. Snatch number two. Snatch. Oh. oh. What's that? Oh, that one's been ripped in half. Shit. It was a dud! Right. Search! Oh, there we go. There's a sink. We're painting a rabbit! Rabbits and flowers! Beautiful, cute things to cheer Defender Roo up! Because I am incensed and vexed by having to interact with Babylon and its bureaucratic bullshit! Snatch number three. Snatch! Oh, that was a clean one. A knife! I instantly got an image in my mind of like a rabbit and a flower, like dueling to the death over something. <laughs> like. Right! A rabbit, a flower, and a knife, and we're off to Liberia. A coastal city on West Africa. So, okay. As per usual, we start with a beautiful blue sky, and then we go from there.
people have to convince me to part with my shit now. Oh, yeah, well, fucking, I'm not there yet. I have, I have a load of paintings that, like, people, you know, think are really cool looking and stuff, like, but nobody wants to buy, like. But then I've also got, like, a load of other people who have bought shit off me, so, like, I don't expect them to buy anything, like, you know? Like, when somebody buys something off me, I don't expect them to buy something off me again for, like, ages, you know? Because my shit, depending on what you buy, it can be expensive, you know? Like, if you fucking, like, put a... If you if you send me a super chat or some shit, like I'm not expect I'm not gonna expect you to fucking buy a painting, buy merch, and send me a super chat, like do you know what I mean? The reason I put all those options out there is for shit like that. Like I like is in my in my eyes that is good business. What do you give your customers? Options. If all you have is like five quid, send it in a super chat. If you want a fucking painting but you don't have a lot of money, you can trade something for it. It could be fucking anything. It could be fucking Shop bought Vegemite. <laughs> Can't believe it's not homemade. Are you sending me hot sauce or are you sending the elf hot sauce as like a uh, kind of like a gift? A fucking, uh, what would you call it? A parlay. <laughs> Indeed, patrons and reg customers you look after are important. Yeah, like, do you know, like, I have a few patrons already. Like, like, Scouse Bear, I consider a patron. He's bought loads of my stuff. He's supported the fuck out of me, like, and he loves my shit, like, you know? So, like, when I'm dealing with Scouse Bear, like, I treat him like he's a fuck... Like, I treat him like I... It's, I imagine how, like, you know, you would go into, like, an old-school tailor, you know, where it's like, Welcome. How may I help you? What would you like painted? How big do you want it? Do you want it to look cartoony? Do you want it to look, like, fucking slick and sharp and abstract and cool as fuck? Do you, do, do you want it to be a fucking ninja throwing a table at the Czech Republic? You want a cute little demon guy? A fucking symmetrical acid trip pig looking thing? Like, you know what I mean? Big, small, colorful, monochrome, what, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Do you want me to design a character? Do you want a fucking birthday card? I don't care what you want. I don't care how much I'm gonna end up charging you, you know? It's not like I'm waiting for people to be like, you know, oh, I want you to do this thing that's going to cost like three and a half grand. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if when, when I did the fucking painting that sold for, uh, like when I put that painting up for 450 euro, that was the most expensive single thing that I've made. And the only reason I charged that much for it because it was the biggest and most intricate design I'd done to that point. And people had bought other designs for like 280, 350, you know, in and around that ballpark. So I was like, okay, so this is bigger. There's more work involved. I'll charge more money for it. And somebody bought it up the second I put it up on Instagram, you know? Like, that's how I like, I know what I'm doing works. I know what I'm doing is the right way to do stuff, but that's what's so infuriating is because we we live in a time where people like us who just want to like you just want to do what you what you're good at and be appreciated for doing what you're good at. Well, you know, like <laughs> it's like, no, don't do what you're good at. Get a job that you hate. You know, hours that are fucking just like exhausting. Like, do you know what I mean? Like. Like, your average 9 to 5, if you're a commuter, like, if you have to commute to work in the morning, like, how early you would get up and then you have to drive in your car, get a train or a bus or some shit, and then what do you do? You probably sit in an office. If you don't sit in an office, you're like me and you worked in a warehouse, which means you're doing physical labor, like, all fucking day, and you're getting paid fuck all to do it, you know? Like, the amount of times I had to do a manual handling training course, and, like... The people 
telling me how to properly pick up a box are fucking obese. Like, like just that. Do you know what I mean? All right, so this is the proper pot protocol for picking up a box so that you guys can't sue us, you know, if you get a fucking back injury or some shit like that, like, because we showed you how to pick up a box. Like, that's all it is. They're like, they're not telling you proper manual labor, uh, form and function and etiquette for the better of your health. They're telling, they're telling you so that if you do get injured at work, they ha they have a fucking like legal, uh, you know, backstop. They have a, a legal president to be like, oh well, he can't really say that because we showed him how to do it right. So obviously he wasn't doing it right, and that's why he got injured. You know, it's fucking like it's mad. Like it is. Like, it's just crazy. Like the stuff I've seen, the stuff I've heard people say, and in the context they've said it in, it's like. You just, you, you people don't give a fuck. You people don't care. You're just gonna go home, eat a TV dinner, watch shitty television, and then do the same thing again tomorrow. And you've accepted that life. And because somebody like me comes along who refuses to accept the mediocrity, the, the modernal, the, like the modernity, the mediocrity like of life, I refuse to accept that. I want better than that. I want to grow my own food. I want, like, land. I want, like, kids. I want, like, a fucking... I want, like, a fucking life. A proper life. Like, do you know, I don't want to feel like I'm a fucking cog in a machine or a fucking sheep in a pen. Do you know what I mean? And, like, that's what those people feel like. They just won't fucking admit it because they're not arse actually doing something. Do you know? These are the same people who would be like, oh, yeah... I'm just not good enough at the tin whistle or I'm not good enough at football or, you know, like, cause they all have, everybody has something they like doing, you know? What, you just don't think you could be good enough to make money off of it? Why not? Have you tried? If I can fucking do, if, if I can do this shit and make money and you won't even try, you deserve to have a shit life. You fucking deserve it. The people on this stream, the people who follow me around, the people who fucking know who I am and what I am about, know the real fucking shit. Being real and being genuine is a rare commodity these days. And it doesn't pay well. But it's fucking worth it. Stop being a bitch. And like, perpetuating a shit system. And like, Treating people like me like we're fucking weirdos. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Your hot sauce is shipping today. Your hot sauce is on the way, madam. Yeah, like people will people will support you if you're not a cunt. That's basically my point. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, the reason why the welfare state exists is because you have all these people with no families, with no friends, with no connections, and all this shit. And it's like, well, why does why is that a situation? Like, do you know what I mean? It's like it's all connected in this big, huge fucking web of the way people live for the past, at least the past hundred odd years, you know, the way people live, the behavior out of most people produces an environment that essentially kills the, the inner spark, the inner want for like, you know, the the desire for like a, for better things to to do stuff yourself you know they've created an environment where it's like oh just do this it's easier this is easier this is more convenient this is easier this is better this is newer you know like all of that has led us here to this point where most shit is actually worth nothing 
and most people behave as if there's nothing to live for. Yet, we'll spend hours or, you know, like, you know, fucking their whole lunch break arguing with someone over things like politics or a football team. These people are insane. I don't really sell my stuff for much. I give most of it away. Um, I already read that one. Should I send Stunt and Scouser a hot sauce? Cost me a fortune. Stunt dyes his beard though, so I doubt he can handle habanero salt. I think, I'm not sure how it works your end, right? But if you go to post the thing, like instead of you, so like UP, US, like United States Postal Service or whatever, UPS, or like fucking, I don't know, FedEx or whatever. If you tell them that you're shipping a gift and that there's no actual material value to the item, um, I think that reduces the cost. I'm not sure. Because it depends on the item, I think. But they ask me for that, like, they ask me that question in the post office all the time. They're like, what's, like, what are you sending? You know? And I'm like, it's a painting. And they're like, how much is it worth? And I'm like, <laughs> like, how much is a painting worth? <laughs> you know? Like, so I, like, sometimes I just say it's a gift. But then sometimes I say it is a, what's the term? It is a, uh, a sale of goods, is, is what it's called, is what it's referred to as, is a sale of goods. So then they, like, you know, there's all this, like, tax shit and all that. Like, com law, and, like, when you start talking commerce law and all that shit, like, that's essentially what the fucking Bible is. Like, you know, like how all this works is just so fucking boring. Do you know what I mean? Because nobody... Nobody can boil it down to its fundamentals, because if they do, they're going to have to scrap all the bureaucratic bullshit that they've created in the past 200 years. Do you know, like, all this law and legislation and all this crap, like, do you know, it's, it's fucking crazy, man, like. Um, you, you probably hurt his little tummy. <laughs> My uh, stone man seems like the kind of guy who could, like, eat a curry and, like, wouldn't affect them at all. Trying to use your passion as a money maker uh, can be crushing. Be careful you don't break your inspiration. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, you see, I kind of... I think I went about it in the right way. That, like, um, I don't try to sell... I don't I don't sell the art that's like the stuff I'm most passionate about like these things look awesome people love them and I enjoy doing them um but I'm not like really passionate about that stuff you know what I'm really passionate about and what I really love doing is character design and story story creation um but I don't feel like I can afford to spend hours a day doing that when it's not making me any money. The, pe the symmetrical designs, they've made me money. People love them, people buy them, you know? So I'm using that, which is kind of more of a, you know, graft, like a, a skill thing, like a combination of pinstriping and like you know, professional painting or whatever, because I like fucking, st I do stencil work and I draw it up myself and all this shit, like, um, so like, it's not, if somebody doesn't buy a symmetrical, it's like what you said, it's like, oh, somebody will, you know, because like every, every symmetrical, almost every symmetrical painting I've done, everybody has been like, oh my God, that's awesome looking. So I know that someone will like it enough to want it and then we'll buy it and that has happened repeatedly but they do take time they take they take a while to draw up they take a while to fucking you know stencil up and put on a canvas or put on a fucking wooden plate and then they take time to paint 
That's why I've done some streams. Like I, I when I did that one that I sold for four hundred and fifty, I did streams where I was filling it in. I did streams live on YouTube where I was painting it and stuff like that. Um, it had like it's been three years. I I basically quit my warehouse job when COVID hit. I was I had a warehouse gig and COVID hit, and I was like, "Fuck this shit." I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit again and again and again. And fuck this noise. Like, I'm not listening to the government, like, and listening. Because, like, I don't anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like who the fuck does? Like, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do what I know I can do. Like, you know, and I, and the first, like, I started selling paintings pretty quickly. Like, you know, but then I moved, you know, I moved, I moved from my, uh, the home where I grew up in. And I moved into a new home with my fiance, my girlfriend at the time. Um, so it's been difficult to restart and like, you know, get a network of buyers and customers and stuff like that. But I'm nearly there again, you know? I'm nearly like, you know, to, and between all the other shit I've done for streaming and stuff for the bears and like, I've designed logos. I fucking like, I've done lots of shit. You know, and most of it hasn't made me money, you know, but I've learned a lot. That's like, you know, I'm always like, I don't let like the, all this stuff doesn't get me down. You know, the stuff that gets to me, the stuff that gets me down is. Uh, the. Like the, the interaction with Babylon on certain levels. Most of the time, Babylon doesn't like like Babylon doesn't fucking phase me one iota, you know. But certain interactions that are necessary still in my life drive me up the fucking wall because I have to deal with these systems created and controlled by just utter psychopaths. You know, and like, you never want to blame the person in front of you, you know, but then sometimes they are actually a fucking cunt. Like, <laughs> there are a lot of people who are fucking utter assholes who work for the government. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's an easy gig, you know, like, you just, you just do paperwork, you just sit at a desk, you get it, it's a, you clock in, you clock out, you get decent holidays. It's like teaching, you know? Some people are okay with that. Like, a lot of people. A lot of people are okay with, like, oh, I'll just do this, and you give me money, and then I can do what I like. And doing what they like is, like, drinking on the weekend with their friends, or going to, going to the movies, or all of this stuff, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not like that. Like, I, like what, I, what I do for fun, I don't have, like, you know, like, I'm... Ugh. Sometimes it's hard to explain because I'm so different, you know? But then again, I'm, I'm not because of the amount of people on the fucking internet or in real life that you meet that are just like me, you know? It's a, it's an odd... It's an odd uh, timeline to experience right now where you have this, like, weird contrast and juxtaposition where, like, yes, everything has gone to shit and most people are fucking... Just kill or be killed, desperate, empty, soulless creatures. Yes, that is true. However, there's still lots of good people out there. There's amazing communities. There's some people doing some really cool stuff. Um, like, the world isn't going to end anytime soon. Nobody can destroy the world, you know? All of this talk of nuclear war and shit like that. Like, most of the stuff is fear porn. You know? Like, it's... Just, like, I don't even get... Like, I don't watch the news. I don't get wrapped up in the fear porn. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like oh no! Like, there are new hate speech laws. All I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what they're saying. What they're doing. They're... On their way. They're all fast track to hell. Like, that's... Like, that's what they're up to. They're on a fast track to suicide, heart attacks, liver failure, 
blindness fucking, like, you know, cancer, any form of cancer, fucking aneurysms, fucking, like, all of these, like, met, like, fucking, uh, what are the like, mental diseases, like, fucking, what's that shit called again, where you forget everything, like, kind of what I'm experiencing right now? Dementia. Like, what's that shit called where you fucking, like, like, all those fucking things, like, you know, it's like, that's, that's where that goes. That's why, that's why there's so many people being like, I'm sick of this shit, I don't want to do this shit anymore, like, do you know what I mean, like, I'm gonna get, like, I'm gonna start growing my own food, I'm gonna, like, try and get some chickens or some shit, I'm gonna try and join a community where we, like, take care of each other and stuff, and, like, we help each other out, like, that's why that stuff is taking off, because everything else is fucked, and people know it is, but the people who like this TikTok fake, like fake it till you make it, fucking like give me the give me the money, give me the big bucks, so, like you know I want to be a millionaire, like do you know what I mean? I I want to drive a Lamborghini, like I want to fucking do all this shit, like experience, experience, experience. They're all already dead, and they just don't even know it. Like five, ten years from now, they're gonna be like so fucked up in the head, you know. I, I, a lot of them it won't happen. For 50 years. You know? Those are the cunts that like really regret this shit. The cunts that spend like they like they get away with it. They get away with it till they're like 60 or 70 years of age. And then they look around and they don't trust anyone. They don't have any close family relatives or friends. They don't have anyone in their life that they can consider that they fucking like really love. Because they've just been so cutthroat. So fucking soulless, so like, you know, like, well, I gotta get mine. I gotta get me some, you know, like, it's the squid game. Like, have you not figured it out yet? That that's why Netflix is making so much money off of, like, all that shit. All these fucking ideas, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, an idea. Everybody's in a lot of debt. We enter into a... It's the lottery. The lottery's been around since fucking time immemorial. Like, you know, oh, well. You could buy a ticket, and you might get a chance at a better life. <laughs> like the the fundamental idea of that concept, that someone buys a ticket that may or may not grant them vast wealth. Where does that vast wealth come from? What is this company called the lottery that has the ability to just Give away millions of fucking, like, euros or dollars or whatever the fuck it is. Like, it doesn't matter what it's called. It's still just fucking paper with ink on it. You dumb fuck. My tea's probably gone cold. It's gone cold. Back to the water. God damn. Defender is feeling fiery this Friday. <laughs> Stuntman dies and hot combs his beard. <laughs> just say. The fact that there's a female on the internet just going, going around going, Stuntman hot combs his beard. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. Germans reversed all their uh, laws they're still enforcing on you. Man, I'd hate to live in Germany right now. People getting arrested for tweets. <laughs> Go Angela Merkel, the witch is dead. Everything is warped. He says, dressed as a Japanese man. <laughs> It's all fucked! It's all warped! Like, I'm fucking an, an Irish, like a bearded Irishman dressed in a kimono and Japanese headband, like.
It is not my job to entertain your delusions. I don't care if you're offended. You are not a frog. I know. How, like, how dark is that? That we live in a time where they're like, trust the experts. Like, if you... If the experts, right, don't have a strong enough reputation with the public that the public just inherently trust the fucking shit that the experts say, if the experts have to say, please trust us, what does that say? Like, you clearly have found yourself in a situation where some of the people don't trust the experts. Why? Why don't they trust the experts? I've to, I swear to God, growing up playing video games saved my life. I, growing up playing video games, I spent most of my time presented with a problem, and then you have to you like in in the given parameters of the problem, you must find a solution. I.e., get good, bitch, get good at the game, you know. But the reason why everything is so fucked up in real life right now, which is hilarious that like some video games actually make more fucking sense than real life. Like, the reason why everything is so fucked up is if you if you're a nice guy, if you're a good person, if you play by the rules, you get fucked in the ass. And you know you're getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> and then if you complain about it, you're called either a bitch. A bigot, or like you're told, like you're told to get good at a rigged game. <laughs> like, there's straight up people in the fucking Babylon realm that'd be like, just get good, bitch, get yours, like become a proper psychopath and just like, you know, climb on top of everyone to become a fucking vacated millionaire on the internet, like psychopaths. It seems the more people scream about being individuals, the more they all become the same. I know, it's fucking ridiculous, like... As a, as a pan's lizard fuckhead, I believe that diversity and fucking this and that is our strength. It's like, hold on a minute. So you're so fucking brainwashed and retarded, you don't realize that you claiming to be a fictional fucking thing, and then... Trying to get the government to enact legislation or law that will punish me for not adhering to your fantasy. <laughs> but it's my truth. It's my truth. What does my truth mean? You mean the fucking shit you think in your head? You dumb cunt. It's my truth. There, you don't own truth. You can't ha there's no such thing as my truth. There is the truth and you can have an opinion about it. You fucking dope. <laughs> like you fucking amoeba. Like you single-celled organism. Like so like, I feel like an elitist. I f I feel like I'm part of the hidden hand that controls the realm. Because I'm sitting here being like, Fuck it! Kill them all! Don't love the vaccines! They're fu they fucking deserve it! <laughs> but I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I know that's a horrible thing to say. To like, just be like, fuck it, kill them all. Like, you know? But like, I get it. I totally get it. The term useless eaters has never been more like, I've never felt more in tune with that than the last like three years. The whole COVID thing. The whole COVID thing showed half of the, po half of the population of the realm was like, oh my God, how far have we fallen? Are you guys seriously going to fucking behave like this now? And the other half of the population was like, Oh my god, I can't believe you're not going to adhere to my delusions. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that you normal fucking people with the gods fucking, you know, given free will and common sense are going to say the truth 
all the time and not just accept the fact that us fucking lizard psycho people want to cut off little boys' dicks and claim that everything's fucking gay and okay. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. Go fuck yourself, bunch of fucking demons. Someone who arrived at a destination by emotional means will not be moved by reason. Oh, stop. That's so true. That's why it annoys me so much. Nobody employs logic anymore. Like, in an any given city, Like, in... In a given situation where there's, like, a government agent sitting at a desk... And my... Onus. Like, my, my way of behaving. My, my fucking presumed behavior, from my perspective, is to be, like... Civil, honest, genuine, you know? And then, like, their fucking interaction is to get emotional, overreactive, and to employ fucking insane, overbearing fucking, like, uh, hate speech laws that, like, prevent me from just being like, this fucking bullshit is some shit. Like, do you know, it's, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like, oh, like, Owen Benjamin saying that women shouldn't be on the internet. That is so true. Women shouldn't have most jobs. Like, and I mean, I mean that wholeheartedly. I get why women can't handle most jobs. Because most jobs tend to be stressful, you know? You get those days where you just don't want to be at work. You just don't want to be sitting at that desk, staring at that screen. You don't give a fuck about the people or their problems, like, you know? But, because you're a female, you have a tendency to forget that you have a obligation, because you're employed, to be a professional. So you're not allowed to be a stupid little cunt. But, in today's society, they are. They're legally allowed to be a stupid little cunt. And you just have to, like, smile and nod and accept it. Fair enough. All it does is make me stronger. All it means is that those people are on a fast track to hell. Doesn't mean it's not a fucking insane situation to have to deal with, like, you know? Yeah, it is. It, I love that scene from Coming to America. It's fucking amazing. If you do not stop this, I will be forced to thrash you. <laughs> Geometric flowers fighting the symmetry of a rabbit with a knife. <laughs> he has a mean streak and a mile, and it's a mile wide. Get the holy hand grenade. Still no paint. I love it. I'll trade my nan for a painting. She's quiet and doesn't eat much. Oh god. Scouse rocks, bro. Just the coolest. Ah, oh, Scouse Bear is a fucking diamond cast legend, he is. Let's just not paint today. I want you to paint. Please paint something. I will admit no one took me serious as a smithy. <laughs> I'll run until a gro groom appears. Uh, I just had a bill problem and I rang someone and they put 300 in my account, no questions asked. Yeah, like, I have I have a few people in my life that I could probably do that with. But, like, I, I, I'm that type where, like, I don't like asking for help unless, unless I, like, literally have no other option. You know what I mean? And, I'm, like, I'm not saying that, like, you're a fucking... Sponge or like some shit, like you know, you're pa 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 like parasitically sucking off your friends or use taking advantage of some shit. I don't know your situation, but like, I don't use that option because it would be easier, you know. And like, I play life on hard mode, and sometimes I regret it, <laughs> but then I don't. <laughs> Oh, 
a hundred on my mental disability, I will not do, my, <laughs> do paperwork. Uh, painting painting gun is, ne is now a death watch beetle. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm broken at the moment, and I wish I had family. I oh, man, like, there's always someone with a fucking worse problem than you, like, seriously. You'd, and you'd be surprised. You know what I mean? Like, there's some dudes, like, not, like, dudes, but there's some people out there, like, in a fucking... What you or I would look at and be like, oh, my God, like, how could you... How could you keep going in that... In those circumstances, like, in that situation in your life? And they have a big fucking smile on their face and they're fine, you know? It's, it's all about this. It's all about, like, your ability to just deal with what you're dealt. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that whole fucking saying of, like, just deal the, ha like, deal the hand you're dealt in life and shit like that. It's so true, like, you know? Like, I may rant and, like, give out about shit and stuff like that, like, but it's because people know it's true. You know, Pe like not enough people do that. Not enough people. Not enough people do that shit nowadays. Where they're like, because comedy's dead. You know, apart from fucking Owen Benjamin. You know, uh, if you're not like in the bear community, you probably don't. You probably have forgotten what comedy is if you're not in the bear community. Um, chances are, anyway. Like people like us used to be able to accept um, the unfortunate circumstances of life a hell of a lot easier when we could, like, you know, have a few scoops on the weekend and watch somebody take the piss out of life, honestly. You know, get up on stage and say some true shit about life and make us all laugh. Um, but the mainstream killed that about 10 or 15 years ago. So... Nobody's allowed to take the piss anymore. And when you're not allowed to take the piss, it's only a matter of time before everything burns to the fucking ground. It's kind of ironic, isn't it, that we all call, like, well, not all of us, but, like, you know, um, the term is used quite a lot, that we live in clown world now. And uh, you're not allowed to have any, we're not allowed to have any real clowns. Because that's all I'm trying to do on this stream. You know, when you really when, when you boil it down to its fundamentals, I am just being a clown. Right. Oh no. I pressed the wrong thingy. There we go. Right, I will actually paint something. For those of you who have survived the past two hours of me venting my frustrations, I will actually paint some shit. Hang in there. They might as well the lottery tickets to school leavers. <laughs> like, uh, like I, I didn't even leave school early. I just like I I sat my uh, I sat my exams. It's called the leaving cert here or whatever. You know, it's like GC GCSEs in. Uh, the UK or like you know your fucking leaving exams or whatever in fucking uh, high school exams in America I sat them but all I did for pretty much all of them was like sign my name and leave I just handed it in and walked out <laughs> it's just like fuck you people like fuck this fuck all of it like I tried to leave school but my parents wouldn't uh... the first t the first time my parents were in the same room for years was when they came to my school to uh, not sign the thing so I couldn't leave school. They, they refused, they both of them refused to sign the thing to allow me to leave school to go and learn a trade because that's what I wanted to do. I was like, fuck this, I've no interest in any of this any anymore. I want to leave school and I want to get a job. I want to like learn how to do something physical like welding or carpentry or painting something. And they said no, they wanted me to stay in school. So I was like, right, fuck is then. I'll stay, but I'm not doing it. I'll fucking fail everything. I will fail everything. And I did. I just refused to take part. And I was like an honor student. I was like constantly getting like A's and B's and everything, you know? But because of the way everything went, I was like, fuck you people. Fuck this, fuck all of it. Like, I mean, 
It was a pretty easy decision to make when you don't respect your parents, you know? You don't respect anything your parents say or do, any decision they make, because you're looking at them just like they're, you know, just human beings, which they are. And you're just like, why would I listen to anything you fucking say? Look at your life. Look at the decisions you made. You know? It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like, some of the excuses that, like, my father and mother have made for their own behavior over the years. Fucking EastEnders, like, and fucking, like, you know, Stuntman Bear, Stuntman Bear would thoroughly enjoy a um, total fucking, like, filmography of my life, my early days, like, nothing but fucking egotistical backstabbing cowards who have no interest but like to like look after themselves like you know and then traumatized messes who like never grew up <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god I'm so down with this <laughs> If I'm selected to win the lottery, they had better pay me in gold or silver. Screw paper. Trust the experts. Out a, out a kick in it and make it lame and gay. <laughs> yeah, put it, put a chick in it and make it lame and gay. Yeah. Dude, we can't paint today. Why not? Why can't we paint today? Get out, sleepy. <laughs> so the same females shouldn't be on the internet. It's just like, oh yeah, sleepy, get the fuck out of the chat. I forgot, I forgot you were a female. <laughs> Sleepy stays, she just can't vote. Oh, I love it. Your terms are agreeable. Uh. If you so much as wet a brush, you'll ruin the, you'll ruin this episode. <laughs> oh God. I, was, I, I just looked at the timer there and it's 33 seconds past. Right. No painting today. Just a big fuck it. Just three rants about shite. I've got shit to do. And I'm hungry. If you enjoyed today's painting goo, remember to like and subscribe. If you would like to support painting goo, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. If you would like to browse my merchandise, you can also do so by clicking the other link in the description. Head over to my Instagram or my TikTok. Peruse the things that I have painted and judge for yourself. Is my painting goo worthy of being paid for, oo? Until next time, probably Monday, oo. I will see you, same time, same place. Same high octane ranting slash painting. Until then, I have been Defender Loop. I needed to fucking rant to. And I love you all. Be good, be true, and be beautiful. And I will see you soon. Farewell. <laughs>